Thank you very much. Oh yes. <laughs> we'll come out. Here we have a ever flowing wine fountain. <laughs> and obviously, there's a bit of a uh, community. Hola! Hello! Hey. <laughs> okay. Everyone's getting pissed! days have suddenly just caught up to me but we have quite a big hill and the last 12 k's have no water stops so a bit worried. Are you feeling slow? Uh, yeah, it's slow today. Yeah, so all four of us are feeling it today. We'll see how we go. We're going to have a rest stop soon, refuel. Dumb idea, I wanted to get to the top of this mountain. No one wants to join me. So I'm on a solo mission. There's all these eagles like flying above the mountain. There's some sort of like building on there, like a temple or something. I'm going up. I look like a lot less from the bottom. Could view that. My god. It's better be glorious. Please be worth it. I think we're nearly there. back down the mountain now with the butterflies I gotta jog pick up the pace a little bit this is the fun part and now I'm gonna catch up and I'll stop filming before I oh dear god before I fall over okay see you at the bottom I'm really 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 far behind the girls 
Yeah, I'm like 4K behind them. I've got a bit of a um, self-inflicted dilemma as well. Earlier on today we filled up a, well, I filled up my bottle with red wine from a wine tap that was free on the way from Estea. So my dilemma is, option one, walk with a full bottle of liquid the whole way. Option two, drink the wine so it's lighter, but obviously then I get pissed. Option three, which I really don't want to do, is pour it out and uh, maybe fill it up at a fountain or something on the way. Totally self-inflicted though. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep carrying it. Because I deserve a glass of red wine when we get to the end. Got some cool news. Our friends sent us a message the other day. I think it's so cool what you guys are doing on this massive hike. And they're like, you've actually inspired us to do it before we're 30. Such a nice feeling to have made someone else want to do something like this. Is anyone else feeling like that? I tell you what, one thing, you would be so surprised at uh, the amount of older people here. Like, 50s, 60s, 70s, just cracking on, getting it done. And not only older people, but people who you would see in a city and you'd go, that person would never do something like this. There's loads of people like that out here. It's impressive, it's really impressive. So, if you are inspired and you feel like you can't do it, then uh, just do it. You can do it. Hola. Okay, Los Arcos, nine kilometers. That's good. My legs are killing. My legs are very, very sore now. <laughs> yeah, injuries are great. <laughs> good, good film of us getting humbled right now. <laughs> All good now. Found uh, found the Italian boy and the Austrian girl. They had a knife. We had some orange. We shared some wine. Now my bag is a little bit lighter, and I feel good. Not long now. Camino 2018. Woo! <laughs> Drums. Little shake, rattle, and roll. Uh, this is how we get through the Camino. Let's do it, Jagger. <laughs> and we got a little uh, muscle and back relaxer, a little Advil. We're just popping back. Sorted. Mmm. A glass of wine with that? A little vino. <laughs> I think it's about two and a half K to go. I left Brad and Mikhail to just speed up a little bit because they're a bit knackered. Legs are really sore now. I'm going to have to have a really good stretch tomorrow, otherwise I don't think I'll be able to walk at all. I did find a good walking stick that Camino provides. I'm really, really grateful that it's not been a sunny day because this would have killed me. I haven't even got the strength to hold this camera up. All right, I'll see you when we get to uh, Los Arcos. Civilization. I made it. We're in Los Arcos and we just went and found some food. We've both been snacking a bit this evening, so we just got some soy milk and some cereal. So we're going to have that as a evening snack. And we'll also have it for breakfast. And we also got some fruit for tomorrow. And then hopefully we'll find some shops on the way to grab some more food. Yeah. Um, we're just discussing what to do tomorrow. There's two different options. There's a really big walk or to break it down into two days. Roughly about 17 k's and then 10 k's the next day, which is quite short, and we can really have a nearly a full day in La Gruña. That, that place. We don't really want to have rest days, which a lot of people are saying you have to do. Yeah, or is normal expected to have a day off, but we don't want to do that. We want to just keep walking every day if we can. It's a nice rhythm. Oh yeah, the um the main hostel in this town. The big one, yeah. We had we walked into the centre. And we got told bed bugs, bed bugs, bed bugs that everybody was running around to other places and the oven was booked out. But thankfully we got a bed here. And it's quite nice. It's very nice actually. I show you. Uh, uh, have a look here. Yeah, around the corner you have a uh, shower and toilet for a man and woman. In the garden, around here the corner behind the window is a spot for laundry and clothesline you see. 
Okay, great. On the, on the right side, on the yellow bench, is a food fountain. Yeah? It's bed number one and two. You're on the left side. Okay? Yeah. Enjoy Thank you. Hey, brother. Oh. Uh, I was just trying to reserve the beds for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, not really. Hey. Right, first come, first serve. I tried. I did even try. Yeah. <laughs> Reunited. Are you doing lots of videos about me? Saying that you've abandoned me. No. You were ahead of me, that's you abandoning me. No. I went ahead because I'm slower and I thought Coyle will catch me up very, very soon. I, I called you. him and it was about four hours away. I was only a little bit behind you guys. Yeah, you did catch it very well actually. Perfecto. <laughs>